What's the focus this week? Um, keep getting better. Continue. You know, the team we're playing has is, is, is got some talent on offense. I mean, they got a quarterback that can fling it. Uh, probably not as mobile as some of the other guys we've seen of late, but he, he's got a good arm. Uh, when you look at their runners, um, you know, they got some guys in the backfield that can make some plays. So we've got to obviously be aware of the run game and do a good job there. And then, you know, wide out wise, a couple guys can go up and get the ball. So you got to be aware of that. And, um, you know, we just got to continue to play with effort and energy and try to put our identity on people and uh, work hard to get better every day in practice because, you know, you never really stay the same. It's a process. So we got to continue to, um, to play with effort and energy and understand that we've got to, you know, hold people to low numbers. And um, if we do that, um, we're going to ch- got a chance to be in every game. Some really good seniors on and off the field that you're yeah. going to lose. They're going to say goodbye on, on Saturday. What's a senior day mean to the, to, to, the, to the rest of the team, and how do you think guys well, want to send them You home? know, first of all, you want to honor them by, you know, preparing during the week to play or coach the best of your ability. Um, you know, you always want to send those guys out because you generally remember your last game in the stadium. And, you know, these guys have really embraced me since I've been here. Uh, they've taken to what we do and have worked really hard and allowed – and. A, their leadership and their production and the way they played has allowed us to be successful and do the things that, that we've been able to do over the last two years. So I think when you have that, you've got a, a genuine respect for for them and you want to send them off the right way so they can remember, you know, this place in a, in a positive way. But, you know, the things that they've done has really allowed us to, to you know, enhance the program and get where we are right now. What's the relationship like between Burgess and Kelsey? They seem to be – Friends and competitors and, and motivators. Yeah, I think that I think that that's really the way our defense is in general, as far as out on the field. But I think that um, there's competition to make plays, you know, which is a good thing. Competition makes everyone better. Uh, they enjoy seeing other people make plays, and they embrace that, and they celebrate with their teammates, which is important. And um, I think that there's a genuine care for each other. There's a belief for each other, and I think all of that's a fuels to allow you to be stronger as a unit. And, and we certainly try to enhance that with our players. So I think that um, they really enjoy playing with each other, working with each other, and there's a respect there. And it really feeds. It's, it's contagious without, within your team. And uh, those guys have done a really good job because we really didn't start out as well as you'd like, but we stayed the course. Um, we, we kept it in-house. We continued to work, continue to grind. And those guys, you know, Kareem rises to the top, and they did a good job. When you prepare all week and you, you know you've got them prepared or you think you do, and you have a game like last week when you know Tremaine gets a pick six and then you almost get two other defensive yeah. touchdowns. How rewarding is something like that? That, that was really, you know, the probably – well, it, it's really rewarding because you, you know the work and preparation you put in as a coach and a player, and you see some of that allow those guys to make some plays like that. You know, the play that Trayvon made, I mean, there's been – quite a bit of work invested into that with him as far as that skill set moving away from the ball and doing those things and I was really happy for him Uh, that's probably as much emotion as I've seen him display you know um, you know after a play it was really good to see and then the people around him and just guys generally enjoying seeing other people make plays that's the fun part of it Um, that's you know seeing guys grow and develop is why we coach that's what we do ultimately we got to win games but it's really cool to see guys get better, develop a skill set, and um, continue to play the way we want them to play. Two motivating factors this week. One, bowls on the line, and, and two, revenge from last year. Which one of those gets more play from the coaching staff? Well, the bottom line is is we got to win another game to get bowl eligible. So that's the most important thing. Uh, we understand that. This is um, our last game at home. We have a chance to send our seniors out the right way. We have a chance to you know, become bowl eligible. And uh, it's something that we understand, and we're going to work hard the next couple of days to make sure we're ready. You, uh, what, what did you just kind of think in general of Tremaine's game last week? It was awesome. I mean, you know, he's a hardworking guy. He, um, he really prepares. He understands things. Um, it's really good to see guys that work hard in practice, and they pay attention to detail. And you kind of know what's coming based upon your preparation and go out and pull the pin and go make a play and do it. You know, that interception was really nice. But then, you know, to see him go, go in and play nickel, you know, we took, you know, we took Josh out. And I thought that was a great opportunity for us to get him some snaps as a nickel. 
And uh, just see him being able to make some plays in there, I think gives him some confidence. Uh, it shows all of our players, if you work hard, we're going to find a way to play you. And, um, you know, it's, he, he's a, just such a hardworking guy. And uh, to see him not only make plays at corner, but if you just see how he's worked and developed and grown as a nickel, I mean, that part of it was really pleasing too. Do you remember the first time when you saw him when you guys were recruiting him? I, I saw him on up. tape. I saw him on tape, yeah. Do, do, you, do you, I mean, because of his size, you have to take an extra closer look to a guy Well, like that. first of all, in Florida, out of high school, some of the tape we had, he had played really good wideouts that were going to major schools. So you had the evaluation of that. Um, and then when we saw him, you know, you're always going to take a look when you get a guy that's got that size. But the more you, you saw him and, and talked to him and you watched the tape, I mean, he made plays against guys that were good players, and the tape doesn't lie. <clears throat> and I think that, that you can take a guy like that. Uh, now, can you take all like that? No. But you can certainly take a guy like that and, um, and find a way to play him and, and do some things with it. And um, I'm certainly glad we got him. I mean, he can make plays and does a good job for us. Well, I mean, were you concerned going this year that you had kind of two five nine, five ten. I mean, or, or um, did you think those guys were, were going to handle it? Not really. I mean, you know, you, you ultimately you play the best players. Um, and you find ways to assist those guys. Um, those guys have done a really good job of working, preparing, and understanding leverage and understanding, you know, where they need to fit and that kind of thing. Um, so it wasn't like I was worried from the sense of, We've got to get bigger and thing like that. I think you just take the players that you have and you try to find ways to, you know, maximize the things that they do well. <clears throat> and um, we, that's really what we try to do. All right. Okay. All right. Y'all take care. Thanks, Good to see you. Thanks, Coach. Yep.